It's a Okay, bye. It is time to cleanse your mind. Man who is sad about how people treated his character, but, you know, life goes on. People have work to do. A tumbler. <clears throat> it's only when you walk without socks that you realize you need to sweep. You wouldn't care if you saw someone from real life in your dream, but would freak out if the opposite happens. Phones are becoming increasingly difficult to hold between your neck and shoulder because of how thin they are getting. Once you pass a certain age, people stop referring to you as good looking and start telling you that you're looking good, which is, yeah. Wearing a suit to your job used to be something of a status symbol. Now being able to wear jeans and a t-shirt is. If porn videos started with 15 seconds of unskippable ads about consent and safe sex, they'd probably teach more than most current sex ed classes. The number five is kind of like an honorary even number. Why is that true? But I also need explanation on that. Being a billionaire probably feels like playing life on creative mode. Do you ever have a plan for the day and suddenly it's 7 p.m. and you've achieved literally nothing? <sighs> Big mood. Guys never put away their summer clothes. We just layer them with jackets in the winter. I can't even dispute that right now, son of a bitch. Watching professional sports is actually watching a bunch of millionaires, genetic outliers, and drug users play a kid's game. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh. Characters in movies and TV never have to wait in line at a coffee shop unless it's important to the plot. <sighs> My god. I, I don't know what to do with this newfound information. And this has been... Still sad, getting cool lay down for a while. A tumbler. You can't just cut pieces of toast up, put them in a bowl, pour butter on it, and call it a meal. But he could. And he did. And soon after, he would violate the Geneva Conventions. We need to talk. Flaming Hot Cheetos on everything is not a personality trait. Whoa, what the fuck? Girl, calm down, calm down. I see chill. Brutus, make me real and your rewards will be great. Brutus, my brother, no. I said something dark and evil from that. I now have a crippling Japanese porn addiction. No, Brutus! High five, man! Oh, yeah! Turkey, huh? I got you. You absolute fool, you imbecile! Hey, hey, that's sandpaper, man! What are you doing? I'm trying to beat the world record for the most sandpaper eaten. I'm close. I'm coming in a second. See? I try to say goodbye and I choke. I try to walk away and I stumble. Though I try to hide it, it's clear I ate a bunch of sandpaper on the way here. Hey homie, wake up, I shit myself. You gonna change me or what, bro? I don't feel like I'm good at anything. Everything I try sucks. I practice, I practice, and try different things, but it doesn't work out. I don't feel my place. There isn't a time limit on success, dude. Just keep doing shit until something clicks. It's frustrating, but it's not a race. Keep going. Figured in on a wholesome new, but I can't because people want Captain Rich, so. <clears throat> mm, fuck the poor. It is time to clean your mind. With the thought of that at one time, because Stephen fused with his dad in the movie, uh, Stephen was himself, his mom, his dad, and, and Pink Diamond all, all, all at once. By Tumblr. The Roman numeral 5 is also visually the half of Roman numeral 10. VNX. My god. Paying tickets aren't penalties, they're receipts for premium parking. Capitalism at its finest. The age when you are the most useless, zero to four, is also the age when you get the most compliments. Oh, okay. Parents don't teach their kids playground games like tag or manhunt. We all learn them from other friends. I I'm sorry, what was the second one? What? Your body killing itself because of a nut allergy is kind of like uh, burning a house down because of a spider. J.K. Rowling changing aspects of Harry Potter 22 years after it was written. It's kind of like the equivalent of coming up with a good comeback a few hours after the argument's already finished. Just saying. Just saying. If future historians don't know how to decode multiple layers of sarcasm, the internet's really going to throw them off. We did it, lads. 
We made history by fucking it up. Hitting a pothole is the car version of stubbing your toe. When you window shop on Amazon, you're actually just picking your ads for the foreseeable future. <sighs> Shit. A fake preacher's money laundered earnings could be considered a false profits. False profits. Those choose your own flavor Coke machines are probably just there to gather marketing data. They see what the most popular flavors are so they can release bottled and canned versions. I mean, didn't that make sense with orange vanilla Coke? I did that one all the time. Like, seriously, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it's for. It's kind of sad that normal people and YouTubers have to plant trees and save our planet while our world leaders don't do anything. Well, let's not count out all the world leaders. Some of the big guys. On that note, though, if Mr. Beast planted 20 million trees, Morgs and other clones would also plant trees and make the amounts of trees planted double. Just say it, Mr. Beast. Get on that. And this has been uh, me not asking Mr. Beast to plant 20 million trees, because that that would be crazy, right? Right? Bye, Tumblr. Behold, a beautiful Native American fire opal blade. Dude, kill me with this. As my vision fades, I whisper, aesthetic. My name backwards spells disappointment and skin problems. Well, nice to meet you, Spellborb Nix Dana Tim the Hapacid. All right, listen. You take me laser tagging and then push me into the corner and kiss me. Then shoot me and walk away. My God. Imagine the OTP. Oh my God, this is a good prompt. God, my imagination is running wild at the moment. What does it mean when kisses you and they kick you and then shoot you? Can you do that prompt instead? If you want to know how long this year has been... The whole fucking Tide Pod fuckery happened in January. I don't remember which January, but it was the January. I don't... God. Kill me. Yo, did they ever track down the baby born at Dashcon? The, the what? You know, the Dashcon baby. The baby born in the ball pit at Dashcon. What? The what? The Dashcon baby! Okay, fine. History lesson. Alright, here we go. At Dashcon, a late-term pregnant lady, there for a writing panel, I believe, arrived, and while going around the event, her water broke around two months earlier than expected, and began to go into labor. There was a huge traffic jam because of, you know, and driving to the hospital was out of the question. So they called an ambulance. But the thing is, because of the traffic jam, it took over 40 minutes, and she was going into labor now. A nurse in training there took over and had to deal with the woman, so they took the ball pit, being the best thing they could think of in the most empty area, cleared some of the balls away, and had to use that as a surface to deliver the baby. Around five minutes before they got there, they managed to deliver the baby. Thankfully, in a safe state. I... that can't... oh god, that can't possibly be true, can it? Can it? Can it? Bard is a combat class, which is true, because I've never met anyone in marching band that didn't want to throw down. All right, let me tell you all, you cheeky scrubs, something. Playing tuba in marching band means you can power walk two miles backwards on your toes in 16 minutes without bending your knee while carrying a 35-pound blunt metal object with your arms held at right angles and blasting every gulp of oxygen you can spare without asphyxiating to make sounds loud enough to deafen the dead in an act of pure unchristian violence. Your bard is a party member who will teach you how to kill God by example. Jesus Christ. Y'all, I just figured out how to make origami swans. Time to bombard my friends with thousands of little swans to make them happy and laugh. This is the extent of my chaotic neutral energy. I'm gonna fill their lockers with swans. My art may never be as good as I want it to be, but I have hands and a pencil, and I will make that everyone else's problem. That being said, here's some Sienna for your face! What now? What are you gonna do? What do you get when you mix alcohol and literature? <laughs> to kill a mockingbird? F. Scott Fitzgerald. Ernest Hemingway. They're called leggings because you put your leg... You put your leg... They're called leggings because... No, it's okay. Take your time. Let's just be clear. If you spend the time baking a cake, cookie, or brownie, you can eat as many of them as you want, and the calories don't count. You made those calories. You're their god. Disclaimer, this does not apply to the children you made. Look at you, Kronos. Oh, look at that. Levitate. I believe it's called Wingardium Leviorca. Okay, so real talk. My grandfather got suspended from Catholic school for referring to Jesus Christ and the Twelve Apostles as JC and the boys. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Why is that the one that breaks me? I'm just imagining, like, this boy band now. It's just Judas is like the asshole of the group. Why do stores always say gifts for her? Who is she? Why are millions of Americans being encouraged to buy gifts for this entity? So explain. We must appease her. She is all that keeps the darkness at bay. Without her, the old ones will rise again. We must not disappoint her. She is watching, and she knows, and she goes. Fuck! Okay, real talk. The only character tropes that matter. The mad scientist, the goth, and the chaotic dumbass. So, you mean Eggman, Shadow, and Sonic in that order? You. You get it. So today I learned that gothic literature makes a distinction between terror and horror. Terror is the sense of dread and apprehension that precedes an experience. Horror is the sense of revulsion after an experience. And someone described the modern difference as such. Fear is knowing that a werewolf is hunting you. Terror is when you see it and it charges at you. And horror is realizing that your feet are stuck to the floor. And Smut realizes that you're into all of that. Okay, here's the weather for today. It's 30... F- four six or cast, I guess? Oh, the weather outside is protected! I'm on fight God, does anyone want oh, anything? Hey, what's up? <laughs> oh, sorry everyone, God didn't drop anything worthwhile. Only soup. What do you mean there's only soup? I mean, he only dropped soup! We'll get out of the increased soup drop rate universe! Alright, you don't just shout at me, I'll go kill another oh, god! Back. Okay, hi. <laughs> The other god also drops soup! What do you mean the other god also drops soup? It means I killed him and he only drops soup! Go into the next universe! We really doing this again? No matter how much I try to farm for rare items, the gods keep dropping soup! Where are you? I'm, I'm fighting the channel. primordial <laughs> soup gods! Why are you fighting the primordial soup gods? Fuck you! Sai, has Pat ever done something that, like, genuinely disappointed you? Not in the disappointed caretaker sense, just generally serious disappointment. You ever see a man bite down on chocolate-covered espresso beans, then take a shot of cold brew, going, Thug life? I have. Live fast, die hard. Sienna, what is your neural net like? How fast are your processors? Have you ever blown Pat's mind by something you said? Not sure how to explain the first two, but the last one I did give him a bra moment. Humans are evolved from sentient eggs due to having started out as eggs. See why? <laughs> Can you just make a sock puppet version of Sienna? I, for some reason, really want to see that. You get sick boobs. Wait, Sienna, you wear glasses? I thought robot eyes were perfect. These have an extra hut I can use when studying new things about the Earth. Also, they're cute. You can't fight crime if you don't look cute. I have no regret in what I'm about to say. Queen? You got those thunder thighs, sexy yet deadly. Heck is a thunder thighs. I didn't mean to say that. Oh, hell yeah. So, which one of you is the thrill seeker? Flip flops. I want to do fun stuff like go to theme parks or go cliff climbing. He wants to grind rails with his heelys while singing Escape from the City. Moving around at the speed of sound. No, but why do you steal PM's stuff? Also, PM, you need to keep track of your stuff better. As the waifu, I get all his stuff to luxuriously steal. It's in my contract. Ugh, damn paperwork. Please help calm my anger so I don't accidentally kill someone tomorrow. Kevin, you're on deck. Mm, tomorrow, another day. Smile. Hey, Sienna, Pat, I need advice. You both seem so positive even though the world could be ending at any moment coming in the future. I must ask. How do you do it? The urge to do the 30 Rock joke increasing! <laughs> I'm so proud of my little blue gremlin. I'm noticing your pupils appear to be hearts. Is that always the case, or can you like switch between the circles and hearts? Can you do like other shapes? Mm, I can do hearts, stars, and circles. Clovers and blue moons. What? Hourglass and rainbows. What? Tasty red balloons. What just happened? WHY WEREN'T YOU AN ELF PRACTICE?! It's not Krimbus yet, you back off, Sharon! Actually, that's a good question. What do you want for Krimbus, Miss Space Elf? Can the Krimbus man make me full on elf? Uh, not without committing a few war crimes. But, uh, yeah. Alright, is it just me? 
or are Sienna's thighs getting thicker with every image? Because if yes, then I thoroughly approve. All right, listen up, little Tim Tim. Yeah, little Tim Tim. Angles, colors, lighting, clothes, posture, and squish factor change the size of all things. Changes the size of all things. They got the same comments about the chest as well. All of hers the same size since the synthetic overall. Synthetic? Overhaul. Think of how people have good angles when it comes to selfies. The same rules apply to drawings if you're drawing by proportion and not exaggeration. Top down and side perspectives make render objects look larger. Straight on, everything looks small. Everything looks smaller. In conclusion, the baby blue thighs have always been the same. The way a color or shade sometimes makes them look larger. Shades sometimes make them look larger. Ugh. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk, follow my SoundCloud, and buy my stuff. Buy his stuff or he downs himself in espresso.